I'm back in this bitch, what's good? Let's get this understood, bitch, I wish a bitch would Yeah, yeah, huh? Bitch, you know the vibes Please don't blow my high I hate a bitch that lie Yeah, yeah you ho These hoes be in disguise Get the fuck up out my face Cause I ain't got no time If it ain't about the cake Or if it ain't about a dime What's going on, J-Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl, Jay. You already know Welcome back to J-Bobs Where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on Big period Briefly, I want to speak with you guys Really quickly And briefly I just want to speak with you Because Mel Center LLC They sent me Some stamps girl Not them kind of stamps But you know The stamps that you need In the time of need Now I know you like Jay What? Yes girl It's almost that time of the year Where it's time to give thanks When it's time to be thankful When it's time to give and receive Honestly like on a serious note you guys Personally speaking from myself You know my family is very dysfunctional I got family in Texas, I got family in New York, I got family in South Carolina, I got family that's even here in North Carolina. But when it comes time to give thanks and be thankful, when it comes time to just celebrate, um, we can't always get together under one roof. But that's okay. Do you not know? That I want to take y'all back to, to the back of the days, okay? Back in the days, it used to be a very common thing to get a card and send a card, right? Get a card, sign it, say some sweet things, mail it off to your loved one. And so I really want you to take the time this year to don't think about the most expensive gift. Think about something that's more meaningful, right? So get a card, you guys. I also will have 20% discount on your first order. Go ahead and stack up on your mailing stamps, y'all. And these are so cute because they got the white Santa Claus on them. And he is just like looking jolly, okay? Jolly and happy. And I'm not sure what this is. Let me open it. It's stamps on top of stamps. It's a tower of stamps. I know y'all like, Jay, are you really excited? Yeah! I don't even know if you know how much stamps cost. Like, when the last time you been to the post office? When the last time you needed a stamp? You know, any time and every time you go to the post office, right before you get ready to cash out, she always asks, you need some stamps? And I always hear somebody say, yeah, let me get some stamps. And then she always say, "You what you need? You need a you need a book, a sheet, two or three. Y'all, they never sell y'all no stamps in a towel. I know they did. I know they did. You know how I know? Cause I know. But no. Um, thank you so much, Mail Center LLC, for using me and my platform to reach out to my subscribers um, for this 20% off discount on your first order. And y'all like." They gave me mad stamps. I got an auntie. I know somebody, auntie, mama, daddy, grandma, sugar, daddy, cousin, brother, sister, that can use these stamps. I'm talking like. That's a lot of money. Stamps ain't cheap. I don't know if you know, and it's front and back. So don't even try to play them like that. That's a lot of money. The number one question that I have and maybe you guys can put down in the comment section. Do stamps expire? Because if these don't expire, baby. 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2030, 40, 50. Y'all, these stamps will... I hope these stamps don't last until I... uh past but uh i'm gonna definitely have to hit up my aunt and my grandma to see if they need some stamps they'll be like what kind of stamps i'm be like you know your mailing stamps that's gonna make their whole day can you imagine getting your grandmother your auntie some stamps they ain't gotta go to the post office they can pull out they can open up that drawer that's full of all them cards from 1980 whenever no shade and they could just Write they sweet little message. You know they got an envelope to match the card. Put they stamp on it. Put it in the mailbox. Put the flag up. And go on about their day. I'm trying to tell you. Get your stamps. 20% off. Enjoy the video.
What's going on, J-Squad? So let's get into this meal. I will be making Parmesan mushrooms. And that's it. So I cleaned the mushroom, y'all. Look at it. It looked good, but then it don't look good. But it was really good. So let's get into it. After I cleaned them off, I kind of patted them dry with that paper towel. This one very light seasoning with salt and pepper. Um, that's really all I use because of the tomato sauce that I'm using already has like tomato basil and seasoning in it itself. So I didn't want to do too much. I did do some lemon juice. I think the recipe told me to do that. I don't really know. So just like a chicken parmesan, you know how you'll have your egg mix, your flour, then your breadcrumbs. Do they use flour? They do. I got this almond flour. So, um, yes, we are first going to put them in the almond flour, then put them in the eggs that we whisked, whisked, we whisked them together. Put the big, can I not speak today? I don't know what's going on. Bread crumbs, put them in a pan. I love to clean while I cook. If you don't clean while you cook, you, you nasty. You nasty as hell. And your mama should have taught you better. But um, when I flipped these, I realized that, you know, the mushroom wasn't cooking on the inside of the mushroom like I wanted it to. So I think I should have cut some of the mushroom off so it could have been flatter. But um, I mean, it gave what it supposed to have gave. It was really good, y'all. So after that, I took this tomato and basil, salsa, marinara, I cannot talk today. I'm just about to let the video play. Why do I need to speak? I can't speak anyway. Y'all, my stomach is growling looking at this, okay? I'm hungry in real life. I'm still fasting, which is why we're not even making chicken parmesan while we're doing the mushroom parmesan anyway. But you can't have a mushroom parmesan without the parmesan cheese. You feel me? So that's what I'm doing. After I put that sauce in there and I laid it out evenly, I put that cheese on there put it in the oven don't ask me what degrees i put it on it was probably like on like 300 325 i'm not sure but once some things come out i was like you know maybe i should put a little seasoning on it, right so i did some italian seasoning and some parsley and look y'all this looks so good and it was good i ain't gonna cap so i put me one mushroom in a container to take with me back to work for like a snack on one of my breaks because sometimes my breaks be early, sometimes they be late. Or I'll say my lunches. My bad. I told y'all, I can't talk today. And then the other one, I ate right then and there. And y'all, this is what it really looks like after you put that Italian season on it. The parsley on it. Got my silverware. This was so freaking good. I hope that you try it. And if you do, let your girl know how it tastes. Get the fuck up out the way. Success is all up on my mind. Nah, I ain't I'm a different breed, it catch you slipping, best belief, I don't need no reason I'ma cut the ties, ho, turn your wife to my hoe Yeah, I pop a lot of shit, but I swear it ain't no typo You smoking on that cat piss, I smoke a lot of gas, bitch of Just focus on you, baby girl <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch